So as you can see, I've already whipped up the person class. I've got the student class hanging out. We're, we're going to see it in just a second. But just like we would always do when we design out these uh, classes, even though I'm using name right here and name right here, they don't mean the same thing just yet. So I have to establish that on my end. And that's actually where this this dot name equals this name. This refers to my class variable this refers to my local variable and you see I get through all that and that's actually one good rule of thumb I like to do I like to always state this dot whatever I'm talking about specifically for that reason so now how do I obviously build it up uh, for students well if I take a look at student it's actually pretty much the exact same thing as we've seen in the past the only difference is now look at that guy look what I've done there extends person now what do I need to do here there's actually a few things I need to do notice how I continue to do this ID this portion that still happens like usual but now I actually have to say well how do I how do I interact with this guy how do I how do I make these things you know talk to each other that's the entire point of inheritance is I only have to make it run once and set it and forget it. The same way we use this, we've been using this the entire time, here and over here as well. We do the exact same thing with something called super. Super now is going to allow me to interact with my super class, my parent class. So if I take a look at uh, this portion, it, let me get rid of this stuff for a second just to clear off what we're doing here. And let me even go so far as to get rid of the stuff inside here for a second. Because what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to state you know, a second, another second, there we go. What I want to go ahead and do is I want to put in all of that information. I want to interact with my super class, my super class. So how would I do that? Again, the first thing I need to do is I need to utilize super. Super. And there are a few things that I can do. One of those things is if I want to utilize the super constructor, aka I want to utilize this guy right here, what I need to do is I have to put super in front. Now, what I have to do as well is I have to give it some parameters. Remember, I'm still calling the constructor. The constructor still takes something like a name. What else does it take? Uh, it takes a name, address, phone, email. So I don't have too much uh, for address, but one, two, three, road, my phone number, nine, one, zero, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine, nine. and my email, a goita at CFCC. That edu and just ignore that for a second and boom now what happens when I do this is these parameters this guy this guy this guy this guy all of those parameters go up here they go to this constructor they go to the person constructor so what that does is then you know Adam uh, one two three road eight six seven five three oh nine a guida at CFCC those then get applied to these parameters now you're probably saying to yourself well what if I don't want to just use text well what we can do is we can add all of these parameters that we would need for the person class name string address I'm gonna just shorthand it string phone 
string email. Now I know that sounds like it's a lot of typing, but again, now I can replace this with name. I can replace this with address or ADR. I can replace this with phone. And I can replace this with email. And again, those will be passed to this version. Now, one of the things that I can do as well is because I'm working with a subclass, that means I have access to not only my super, my constructor, but I also have access to some of the other public facing variables. So I can do super dot get name. What's really nice is I can actually create a new student. Say for example, I make a student student s equals new student and we'll just assume I have enough uh, in my parameters here. I can now do s dot get name. Where did we make it over here? I see enroll, I see withdraw, but where where is it? It's not here. It was inherited inherited by our super class. So now my sub class my subclass has access to it as well. 